Hello and welcome to another lesson in surveying. So we are done with pacing. We are also done with taping. So for this video, we're going to talk another uh, method of me uh, measuring horizontal distances. And that is tachymetry or tachyometry. Okay, so there are two methods that we are going to talk about in this uh, video first is the stadium method uh, I mean we are going to talk about the stadium method in this video and then in the other video we are going to talk about the subtense bar method okay so what is a stadia a stadium method provides a rapid means of determining horizontal distances okay so the precision of the stadia method depends on the refinement with which the instrument was manufactured the skill of the observer, the length of the measurement, and the effects of refraction and parallax. Okay, so to illustrate, let us look at the following figure. Okay, so here is your instrument, a theodolite or a transit. Uh, the, the instrument should be horizontal. Okay, and uh, on the cross here, you will see two stadia hairs. The upper stadia hair and the lower stadia hair. Ito yung makikita mo sa telescope ng yung instrument. Okay? Okay, and then, the instrument will, uh, you will see the intercept, ano, intercept of this stadia hair is at the rad. Okay, we have a rad here, stadia rad. Okay? And by the use of trigonometry, uh, and uh, similar triangles, we are going to approximately a measure or calculate the distance between the instrument and the stadia rad. Okay, so the formula that we are going to use is D is equal to KS plus C. D is the distance from the telescope or the instrument to the rad. C is the stadia constant. Okay, so this is the distance from the center of the instrument to the principal focus. Usually, this the value of C is zero for internal focusing telescope. Okay, on the other hand, is the stadia interval factor of the instrument. Okay, this is inherent to the instrument, and usually, uh, the manufacturers take into account of the value of K, and K is usually 100. Okay, and S is the stadia interval the difference between the upper and lower stadia hair reading okay bali that, that is the difference between the upper and the lower stadia hairs yan yung s natin stadia interval okay to illustrate this formula let us going to answer this problem so stadia rod held at a distance point b is sighted by an instrument set up at a the upper and lower stadia hair reading were observed as 1.3 meters and 0.9 meters respectively. If the stadia interval factor K is 100 and the instrument constant C is 0, determine the length of the line. Okay, so we only have one formula for this one and that is D is equal to KS plus C. And since all uh, factors for the formula are given, we can uh, basically uh, 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 substitute the given. Okay, so k is uh, k is one hundred. Okay, s is the difference between the upper and the lower hair reading. So that's one point three and nine. So that's one point three meters minus 0 0.9 meters okay and then plus c the instrument constant is zero so that's zero okay so therefore the distance d is equal to okay let us use our calculator that is 40.0 meters okay 40.0 meters so that's the distance of the line from point A to point B using the Stadia method.